Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Saturday, May the 18th, 2024. Let's take a look at and see what we got for today. All right, looks like we got some good ones here. Now I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out. I give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas. They're right there if you're a brand spanking new player to the game. If you're a returning player, even if you're an experienced player, there's a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can. Of course, you guys are awesome. The great comments and tips, which is greatly appreciated. Okay, there's not a whole lot we can do here in our camp. However, there is some things we can do. Let's go ahead, craft ammo at a workbench 50. So again, don't get confused with collecting ammo. We actually have to craft ammo, and of course we craft ammo at a Tinkerer's Bench. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Alright, so here's our Tinkerer's Bench. We go craft. Now it doesn't really specify what type of ammo we have to uh, craft. Just any type of ammo is fine. So when you go under ammo, this is your ballistic type of ammo here. Okay. Now uh, we have energy ammo down here as well. Alright. So what we're actually going to craft here today... So we're going to craft some 5.56. Five, so if you take note, 5.56 five, five, for 20 rounds, it's going to cost me 4 gunpowder, 6 lead, 12 steel. Now when you are actually crafting ammo, there's a couple perk cards that's going to help us out. Let's back out here. I'll show you what they are. Under agility, of course, we are talking about ammo smith. Now, I don't know when this card actually comes about, but it's definitely one to hang on to. Even if you have Emil Smith 1, a 2-star, produces 80% more rounds when crafting ammunition. So we're going to have to go put that bad boy on. Of course, under luck, there'll be a perk called, called uh, Super Duper. So again, this is a little bit higher level card. Uh, even if you have Super Duper 1 or 2, that's fine as well. You can always try it out, but it'll be this one here is a 3-star. When you craft anything, there's a 30% chance you'll get double results. Let's go ahead. We're going to go put that bad boy on as well. All right, now let's head back to our Tinkerer's Bench here. We're going to go craft. Go down here to IMO. So we see here 5, 5, 6, and now we have 36 rounds. It's going to cost us the same amount of requirements. 4 gunpowder, 6 lead, 12 steel, and that is the ammo smith perk car that's doing that let's go ahead we're going to craft two of them all right so you hear that little thunder sound we actually get 92 rounds we get them more rounds because we had super duper super duper actually worked this time so that's pretty cool just an fyi just a couple things you can do just don't forget to put your uh perk cards back the way you have them because you guys know i'm pretty bad for that <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, what's next here? Model Weapon 3. So again, when you go around the wasteland, you pick up weapons all the time, you start scrapping them, and you have a chance to learn a mod off a weapon. Now, whether it's a weapon you use day to day or a weapon you use once in a while, but you will eventually learn mods for those weapons. However, for this particular daily model weapon, I usually like to kind of choose um, a weapon that I know a skin for. Or a paint and uh, most times we can if you're a returning player you would have gotten paints off of previous scoreboards for free just for playing and you would have claimed them and you can also buy uh, weapon paints in the atomic shop show you this for an example let's go down here so there's a paint right here tickle me paint this is uh for the goss minigun this is just an example. You can actually buy paint. Now, if you are kind of looking and you're trying to figure out, hey, later on, I'm a, I'm a returning player. How do I know uh, what weapons I know paints for? You just go under skins in the atomic shop. You slide it over. You go down to the weapons section. And it'll pop up with the weapons that you know a paint for. They'll come up as owned. All right. And the, and the ones that you don't know will come up here as well. And the ones that you can buy. So I always recommend to folks that uh, either you have a weapon that you use day to day. You know, we all have our favorite weapon that we use all the time. But even if you don't know a paint for that one, have a weapon that you have in, in your stash box. If you can, if you have the room for it, that you know a paint for. Because these particular daily weekly challenges pop up like at least a couple times a week. All right. So very useful to have. Very easy score. Again, there's nothing stopping you from putting mods on. 
but let's say you're a new player, you don't have Fallout First, you don't have a scrap box without limited junk, all right? And uh, that's where this particular uh, idea of uh, having a weapon, you know, a paint for or a skin for will really shine, okay? Let's go to our weapons workbench here. Um, I do have this handmade on me. It's back out there. So I actually have to go modify slash repair. All right, so here's our handmade here. And of course, you know, we've learned so many mods over from playing the game for over the years and scrapping weapons, okay? And again, it's going to cost you valuable resources. Some of them require perk cards to put on. But if we go down here to the paint section, right? It's only going to cost us oil. Let's go to actually the default appearance. It's usually going to cost us anything at all. See that one for three. Go back to Nuka Twist. Go back to default appearance. And go back to my armor A's. I kind of like the look at this one. There we go. Model weapon three for three. It only costs us a couple oil. And uh, yeah, just a good example there. All right. But if you don't know paint, then that's fine. Like if you're brand spanking new, you don't want to pay Adams. And I don't, I don't blame you for sure. Uh, but you can always, uh, you know, mod your weapon just, you know, the, the usual way. All right. What's next here, Jim? Let's see here. All right, use a photo mode while in a team one. So again, I am on a private server. I'm all by myself. As you can see, as most times as I am and when I'm doing these daily weekly challenges, uh, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use photo mode. So we go to our map screen here, bottom of the screen, we see photo mode. It's gonna bring us to this, all right? So what we actually have to do, we have to be on a team, all right? <laughs> I almost forgot there. So let's go to our map screen. We're gonna go social. We're going to slide it over. We're going to create a new team. Just a casual team just by ourselves. Okay. As you can see, I'm the only person on the team. I'm the only person on the server. Let's go back to photo mode. There we go. So we're on team by ourselves. Let's go photo mode. There we go. Use photo mode while in the team. So as you see, you could be on a team with other people if you so wish. Or you could just be on the team all by yourself on a private server like myself. And it'll also work. All right. So there we go, just like that. Easy, super easy. All right, what's next here? That's pretty much all we can do here in our camp. Let's go ahead and collect a teddy bear three. So I do have a couple of videos out there that I made that shows you great locations for teddy bears. Uh, one of the best locations is just up here. It's the knife's edge and just a little bit to the north. Okay, the knife's edge will be maybe have two or three red scorpions. But if you're make your way past them, just right about here, There'll be a red decapitated shed, just a small shed. And there's usually some enemies around there as well. Like I've seen super mutants and uh, anglers, the odd time up there. But just take care of them. And you'll find at least 11 teddy bears in this one location. Uh, they'll be up on the little ledge. And if they can be a little hard, you can kind of jump up and down to grab them. Okay, if you, if you want to check out that video. But uh, to be honest with you, uh, I just kind of throw a grenade. I just throw a gren grenade at the wall. And it flings the teddy bears down, some of them anyway. And you should be able to pick up three of them just like that. All right, so that is a very popular spot. Uh, right over here in Camden Park. This is, oh, sorry, Tyler County Fairgrounds, sorry. Uh, this is another popular spot. Every teddy bear in the game you can find here at Tyler County Fairgrounds. I don't, I don't know, I think there's like 11 t different types of teddy bears in the game. But you can find all of them here. The only uh, thing about it is they are all kind of spread out, okay? And you guys seen me collect at least nine of them here in a uh, weekly challenge video I made a couple months ago. And uh, we were very successful. All right. Uh, right here at the Clancy Manor, you can find at least three of them in the kitchen. Of course, you're going to have cultists around, so you're going to get through the cultists to get to the kitchen. But you can find at least three of them here as well. Uh, another good spot for some teddy bears is right down here at uh, Camden Park. And that's where we're going to head here today. Now you can find teddy bears kind of scattered throughout the wasteland, but I find those are the most popular spots. All right, let's go here. Right down here in Camden Park, and there should be four of them right uh, just around the corner. Just on the other side of this wall is what's called the Dross Toss. Right here. Right there, Dross Toss, and there's four of them right here. I'm just going to grab the four. 
There we go. Just, we're going to grab three of them anyway. We'll leave that guy there for some other time. All right, there we go. Collect Teddy Bear 3 for 3. Done. Guaranteed location. And of course, the other spots are guaranteed as well. Now, I do want to make a note that if you are on a uh, public, public server with other people, okay, and you're brand new to the game, and you might think to yourself, why do I have the server hop all the time? Because you are in competition with those, those other people. And you can come to those locations when you, when you watch videos on YouTube. And uh, I know the frustration can be real, especially if you're new to the game. However, these locations that we show you are good locations. They are guaranteed. It's just that you're up against other players that are that maybe got there before you. Okay, and you'll have the server hop to get them. So that's why I have so many videos on my channel, just to show you different uh, locations. So, uh, so hang in there, kid. Hang in there. <laughs> it's the best... Uh, recommendation I can give to the newer folk that are that's brand spanking new to Fallout 76. All right, what's next here, Jim? What's next? Kill a K95. So again, I have many great videos showing you some great spots for K9s. Uh, right here, if you spawn here, Green Country Lodge, you turn around, you make your way up the road here towards the Wayward. There's usually three mongrels that are there. Okay, it's a pretty good spot. Uh, right up here at Aaronholth Homestead, we'll find at least five mongrels here as well. Now, if you're lucky enough to get on a server and you come here to Tyler County Fairgrounds, there's an event called Leader of the Pack. Leader of the Pack will have, like, three different packs, and there'll be, like, three or four wolves in each pack. And that's a great way to get canines. And one thing good about that is each pack leader is a legendary. So, that, so if you're lucky enough to get Leader of the Pack, that's awesome as well. Um... Kind of changing it up a little bit there, right here at uh, Automated Acre Cabins. Again, we have some wolves that are up here, at least six wolves. That's a pretty good spot. Uh, right down here at Big Fred's Barbecue Shack, we have foxes. So foxes are also considered canines. Okay. And another thing that a lot of people might not think about is the mutant hounds. Mutant hounds are also considered canines. So uh, one of the best spots for mutant hounds is right here at Grafton Steel. You'll find at least six of them here, but of course you got super mutants around them. But that is a great spot for mutant hounds, as well as down here in uh, Huntersville. You can find at least three or four uh, mutant hounds down here as well. Uh, where we're going to go here for this particular video is we're going to go up here to the Aaronhold Homestead. Let's pop up here. Summer is nice and easy. All right. Here's Aaron Hold Homestead. There should be at least five or six of them here. We shouldn't have any issue at all. Now, again, if you're on a public server and you come here and these and these uh, mongrels are already dead, that means somebody already got here before you. So just kind of keep that in mind. You'll have to server hop if you want to stay to this area, or you can go to the one of the other areas I had mentioned. up here to this house here and there's one upstairs he'll have the little crown on his head so he's the leader sometimes he'll be coming down the stairs here how you doing there pop there we go nice just like that guys oh another mongrel over there yeah, i thought there was six here oh he disappeared maybe he's inside that shed anyway yeah, so there you go. Great spot here at Aerodhold Homestead. Nice and easy for the newer folk. What's next? Kill a honey beast one. Great, great. So great spots for some honey bees. Again, I have many videos on this as well. Uh, great spot for some honey bees is right up here. Just to the north of this flower. It's uh, not a, um, a spot you'll find on the map with, uh, you know, with an icon on it. It's unmarked, so, uh, but when you come here, there will be, like, a little indent into the side of, like, a little hillside. It looks like a little cavern, but you can't kind of enter it, but there'll be some insects there, and there you can find for anywhere from one to three honeybees here, guaranteed. Okay, and actually, it's a pretty popular spot. You'll find a lot of people will have their, uh, survival tents up here. 
So just an FYI, it's a very uh, popular spot. Um, now, if you're actually right down here at the Middle Mountain Pit Stop, there'll be an event called Safe and Sound. There will be a couple of honeybees that will show up there as well. Uh, another good spot is guaranteed as well. You'll find three honeybees right here, uh, right in this little triangle here between the Blackwater Mine, Middle Mountain Pit Stop, and Middle Mountain Disposal Site. And you'll find three uh, honeybees guaranteed here as well. And just a little bit down this way here, uh, Mountainside Bed and Breakfast, when you spawn, you just go down the tracks. You don't have to go that far, but you'll see like a big uh, kind of a cliff. See a couple tra uh, train cars down there, and you'll find at least... Uh, oh, no, it's not honeybees. That's sorry. That's uh, <laughs> Those are Yogoi bears. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, Jim. Just relax, buds. Just relax. <laughs> All right, where are we going to take you here today? Wow. We're actually going to go here to Middle Mountain Pit Stop. Holy, I don't know what I was thinking of there. Jeez. <laughs> now, back in the day, um, this used to be called Middle Mountain Cabins. And it was June 2023 where these guys kind of took it over. Before that, you used to come here and you'll come across a video of mine where there was a good spot for honeybees just within here. And then they are kind of hanging onto the side of the walls of these uh, little uh, huts here. And uh, it was a really good spot. It was, it was very good. But sometimes you came here, there was also some rat scorpions as well. So it's uh, ever since then, it's been changed. But so now you got to go this way over the fence. And this is where you'll find the, uh, the three honeybees up here. <laughs> Can't believe that. Wow. Crazy world. All right, so here's our guaranteed honeybees here. And shoot this guy in the face. We're just going to have his friends with him. There you go. Kill the honeybees one for one. Done. You can go ahead and kill the other guys if you so wish, whatever you want to do. There we go. Great spot for some honeybees. Three of them up there. Pretty awesome. All right, what's next here, Jim? Yeah, so right there, as I mentioned... And the other good spot is uh, just up here north of this little, I don't want to call it dandelion flower, whatever. All right. <laughs> and uh, if you guys know any good spots for honeybees, by all means, put in the comments. Yeah. Awesome. All right. What's next here, Jim? <laughs> Kill a feral ghoul 10. So again, many great spots for some feral ghouls. Probably one of the best spots is right here in good old Morgantown. One of the biggest cities here on the map. Now, when you come here to Morgantown, uh, basically every other block, you'll find a patch of uh, ghouls, anywhere from five to six of them. And you can go ahead and uh, fill your boots with ghouls just in this one location. You and maybe a couple other people could. Uh, we'll find some ghouls here at Alpine River Cabins, uh, four to five of them here if you're lucky. Uh, right here at uh, Vault 76. Just to the west, those upper lower parking lots, nice and easy. They're actually weakened ghouls. They used to be liberators there at one time, uh, but they're ghouls there now, so that's a pretty good spot there. I don't know if you'll find 10 of them there, but uh, it'll be at least uh, 7 or 8, I would say. Uh, right down here in Charleston Capitol Building, again, this is a little bit higher level area uh, if you want to bring a friend or something, but there's all kinds of ghouls inside that building. Uh, they can overcome you fairly quick. And of course, we all know around the White Spring Golf Club and all around White Springs itself, that golf course, you'll find patches of ghouls around there as well. And Lewisburg. Lewisburg, it used to be a really good spot back in the day, but I, I find lately since I've gone there, there's maybe about half, half the amount of ghouls there now for some reason. I don't know why that is, but it used to be a real good spot for ghouls. Uh, so we're going to take you here today is uh, we're going to take you right up here to good old Morgantown. Let's pop in here at the Morgantown High School. Gosh, I can't believe that honeybee's there. Right down here, guys. Nope, nope, that's a young white bear. <laughs> uh, don't mind me, guys. I'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> so again, we're here in Morgantown. Uh, now, the high school itself will have scorched in around the uh, the high school. You want to kind of go out into the road area, and this is where you'll find the ghouls, and the ghouls are just kind of laying around like that, and you just kind of shoot at them. And then uh, you'll get the drop on them pretty good. See the other guy way over there. 
guys get a little twitchiness going on with them. Gould is also a good source of silver and gold, in case you guys are wondering. All right, let's go down this way here. Let's lock and load. And a cop will come across another little patch here. There you go, kill it, throw grill. Just like that. Real easy. Super easy. Didn't really have to go too far. The ghoul up there, see him? Alright, good stuff. He's gonna explode here in a second. All the explodey. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's take a look here. I think we're done. We are, just like that. Another easy one here today, guys. Real easy. <laughs> Don't mind me, but the honey beast. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Alright. There you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe, Starwind138, Rob Call. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.